Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Rucha Mehta, consultant endocrinologist and diabetologist at Edmo Clinic and Apollo Hospital CVHF Ahmedabad. Today I will be speaking on how should we approach diabetes management in the new era. So my topic for today is very interesting because with the advent of newer agents such as the GLP-1 receptor agonists, we now have better ways of treating our patients. I shall talk about the oral molecule semaglutide which is a daily molecule which is currently available to us in India. But rest assured we also have the once weekly agent dulaglutide which is injectable also available for the treatment of our patients. Now how these molecules work is not simply by controlling the glucose and bringing down the HbA1c to a great extent of almost 2 to 2.6 percent. They can be used in combination with most of our oral agents and also with insulin. They can also be used at any time point in the, in, the, in the history of diabetes. So for example, if the patient has diabetes for less than 5 years, more than 5 years or even more than 10 years, we feel pretty comfortable initiating these molecules. How these agents work are by binding to a receptor known as the GLP-1 receptor at the level of the pancreas and they stimulate insulin secretion. This receptor is different from the sulfonylurea receptor. They not only initiate insulin secretion but may also re regenerate the beta cells that make insulin. Additionally, they bring down glucagon levels thereby reducing hepatic glucose production. This is the mechanism by which they lower whole body glucose. Secondly, they also work at the level of the gut and they slow down gastric emptying and at the level of the brain whereby they reduce satiety and craving and hence they bring down the weight. So overall, with this glycemic and extra glycemic benefits, in the long run, your type 2 diabetic patients will have a multitude of benefits reducing the microvascular complications. Now, newer data also suggests that these molecules have beneficial effects on reducing the risk of atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. The ADA, the RSSDI, the ACE, all of these guidelines have now moved away hence from simply an HbA1c glycemic target approach to a patient-centric approach. What all these guidelines now tell you that if your patient in addition to type 2 diabetes has underlying heart disease, kidney disease or a need to reduce weight, you must consider some of these newer agents early in the process and hence oral semaglutide even though it's expensive and does have a few side effects, mainly being gastric, we must consider this early in the course of treatment for our patients with type 2 diabetes.